Inner Sandman is without a doubt Metallica's most popular, recognizable, and most played songs. The song began life inspired by Soundgarden's Louder Than Love from 1989. From here, the band began to develop the sound of the track. While the musical structure was completed very early into the production of the Black Album, it would be right up until the midnight hour before it had lyrics. Even before it was finished, the album's producer, Bob Rock, as well as the rest of the band, felt that the rest of the record should be based around its sound. An instrumental demo would be completed in August of 1990. The song is dark enough to begin with, dealing with the night terrors of a young child that grow more and more intense until they break into our reality. However, the original lyrics were much darker and serious, dealing with a horrific family secret and even references to crib death. The change was made when it was felt that better lyrics could be written with a second go-around. In recording the track, the band did this together in one studio, as opposed to each member recording their parts separately, as they had done on previous records. They succeeded in creating a wall of sound by laying down three rhythm guitar tracks, using close to 50 different mics, and Lars Ulrich stitching together multiple drum takes to create the proper fury and intensity needed. The idea from a technical standpoint was to create a live sound on a studio track. Unlike on And Justice For All, where the bass is almost non-existent, producer Bob Rock understood the necessity of using it as a driving force on this track. This would be the first track to be mixed for the record to use as a template for the rest of the songs. Despite the importance placed on the song, it was decided by everybody in the band, except for Lars, that Holier Than Thou should be the album opener and the first single released. Lars and the rest of the band had a huge argument about this, but eventually they saw his side, and it was decided that Sandman should be the first single and the album opener. I know a lot of people give Lars crap, but you have to side with them on this at least. Two weeks before the album was released, Inner Sandman would be released as a single, along with the band's cover of Queen's Stone Cold Crazy and a demo of Holier Than Thou. It peaked at number 5 in the UK and 16 in the United States, and was nominated for Best Rock Song at the Grammys. The song was a huge hit with not only Metallica's rabid fan base, but also with mainstream critics, who could now no longer ignore the band's appeal. After the release, there were accusations that the song was plagiarized from the track Tapping Into the Emotional Void by the band Excel, although legal action was never taken. The band spared no expense in creating an equally amazing and haunting music video that brought to life the dark imagery of the song. Wayne Isham directed the video that would win a VMA for Best Rock Video. Since it's been released, it's been covered by numerous acts including Weezer, Ghost, The Warning, and even partially by Weird Al Yankovic. It's been used in commercials, movies, the wake-up song for NASA astronauts. It was even used by the U.S. military on uncooperative prisoners during the Iraq War. In the world of pro wrestling, it was the entrance theme for ECW's Sandman. When the company would release an album of its music, they recorded a cover with Motorhead's Lemmy. Of course, the band itself has recorded and released multiple live versions of the track over the years, and closes almost every live concert with it. My favorite version you'll find linked below from the band's film Through the Never, which includes a recreation of their famous stage collapse chaos. Sandman is just one of those tracks that appeals to everybody. Society may not be able to agree on many things, but one thing we can all agree on is that this is one amazing track. The content on this channel is made possible from viewers like you. Help the channel grow by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.